down in deepest, darkest Africa. Africa. Who's the one who brought the jungle fame? Who's the king of animals in Africa? Kimba the white lion is his name. When we get in trouble and we're in a fight, who's the one who just won't turn and run? Who believes in doing good and doing right? Kimba the white lion is the one. Epidemic strikes in the jungle. One by one, the animals fall. Victims of the dread disease, the Stony Mountain Speckled Fever. Hey, everybody. Listen to me, everybody. It's bad news. There's a terrible sickness going around. Look out for the epidemic. Stony Mountain Speckled Fever. Right down, Polly. Oh. Where am I? Please don't shout. I happen to have a splitting headache, Polly. <laughs> Samson, you've got the fever. I better warn the others. The Stony Mountain Speckled Fever is spreading. Kimba! 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 Holy cracker! You're feeling all right, at least. It's bad. I've never seen anything like it, Kimba. All of the animals are breaking out with polka dots all over and becoming very sick and fainting. Even Samson. Samson? He's sick too? He's so big. This epidemic hits the big and the small alike. Kimba. Hi. I need your advice. I'm not feeling so sharp. <gasps> Find Dan'l Baboon and ask that he come here right away, Polly. Maybe Dan'l can tell us what to do. Okie doke. Dan'l Baboon. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Fox, you too? Stony Mountain Speckled Fever, all right. Yep, years ago there was an epidemic of this fever. It was like this. All of us creatures fell down in our tracks. Some never got up. Really? But you got up all right, didn't you, Daniel? How were you able to get over the speckled fever and get well again? Back then, there was some kind of medicine, Kimba. Huh? What kind of medicine? Try to remember, please. Remember what it was? The medicine came from a tree. As I recall, Pop Woolly brought it to us from somewhere on Stony Mountain. Who's Pop Woolly? He's the granddaddy of the mountain sheep. He lives up in the rocks. Right. Let's go and talk to him. Come on. Mountain sheep help Kimba find the way to their leader, Old Pop Woolly. Thanks for helping us find the way, Mountain Sheep. It's an emergency. Will he tell us where to get the medicine for the Stony Mountain Speckled Fever? That medicine comes from the bark of the big old tree on top of Stony Mountain. It's a far journey, and he who travels it must leave when the moon is bright in order to reach the mountain when the sun is high overhead. But why does it have to be daylight? 
Because there are hundreds of horrible flying lizards lying in wait along the way. They claim Stony Mountain as their own private territory, and they guard it from invasion by any outsider. They are fierce and dangerous, and they fearlessly attack any animal of any size. During the day, they cannot bear the heat of the sun, so they stay hidden in their caves. But at night, when it's dark and cool, they come out and attack. Thank you, sir. I'm going to leave for Stony Mountain now, so I can get there while it's still daylight. Bye! Wait, young fella. You'll never be able to climb the rocks up to Stony Mountain with your soft lion's paws. <laughs> These hard old hoofs of mine are still the best for mountain climbing. But, sir... I'll go to the mountain for the medicine myself, but I must leave while the moon is still shining brightly. Pop Woolley, you shouldn't attempt such a difficult journey at your age. I'll go in your place. No! <laughs> Do you think I need a rocking chair? <clears throat> I can still outrun you greenhorns any day, any time. I'm coming with you. Then shake a leg, my boy. Be careful, Kimba! Kimber, but we're losing time. It's a long way yet. Let's go! Stony Mountain, Kimber, follow me. from here alone because it's too steep for you, Kimba. No, sir, I'm going to follow you, at least as far as I possibly can. No, no, scaredy cat, I'll say that for you. Ah. Pop Wooly, don't wait for me. Go on. All right. Where will I find you on the way back? I'll wait at the bridge. Not come out in the sun, you lizards. Stay away, evil. Tree. That 
That's enough. Well, here's one bag full, Kimba. Good for you, sir. Ready to start back now? Uh-huh. We can make all the animals well now. Even me, Pop Wooly. Mm-hmm. Mm. <gasps> He's exhausted. Let's divide this among the sick animals. Give a few bites to each. Gypsy? Mm -hmm. You're better now, aren't you? Because the medicine worked. Oops a daisy, Turkle. <laughs> Look, Daniel Baboon, every one of the sick animals is well again already. We stopped the Stony Mountain Speckle Fever cold with Pop Woolly's wonderful medicine. Thanks for saving us, Kimba. You're a hero. Thanks from all of us, Kimba. Thank Pop Wooly. Don't thank me. He's the one who got the medicine, and he deserves the credit. Pop Wooly? Uh-huh. Let's give him a party to show our appreciation. Party? Party? I love parties. Whee! Let's throw a real wingding for old Pop Wooly. By the way, anyone here seen Pop? We plum forgot about him, Kimba. He must be taking a nap. Hey, Pop Wooly! Pop, Pop Wooly! Pop Where are you? Pop Wooly, where are you? There he is, under the tree. Pop Wooly, what's the matter? <laughs> Pop Wooly's got himself so tuckered out, he's come down with a speckled fever. Uh oh, do do do. Poor Pop Wooly. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Why are you leaving? We don't want to catch the Stony Mountain Speckle Fever again for Pop Wooly. Oh! Like a bunch of rats deserting the ship. Oh. Don't you have any gratitude? No. Have you forgotten so soon who helped you get well? You owe it to Pop to stay and help him. Hurry, Dan, we'll get some medicine for Pop Wooly right away. It's no use. There isn't a grain of it left. We used it to cure the others who were sick. Huh? If I stay here... The fever will spread to all the animals again, and there'll be no one to go for the medicine to save them this time. I must go away by myself. That's the only way to save the others from the fever. Pop Wooly! From here, I can watch my beloved jungle where I've lived a long and happy life. I'll just lie down here and rest. Isn't there something I can do for you? No! Get away, Kimba! I forbid you to come near me. Now do as I tell you! <laughs>
father. Kimba, Pop Woolly grows weaker and weaker from the fever. Are you going to sit by and do nothing, son? Since I can no longer help the animals of the jungle, you must take over, Kimba. Yes, father. I will. <laughs> Pop Wooly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave for Stony Mountain now while the moon is bright, and I'm going to bring you back the medicine. No. Yes, sir, I must. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Overhead. I've got to hurry. There it is. Hooray! Now that I have the medicine, I've got to make tracks for home. Flying lizards did this. There's no way to get across without the bridge. It's a long way down. It's getting dark. I've got to get out of here before the flying lizards come out. I'll just have to take the long way round. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hundreds of them. Ha, here they come. They got me trapped. Up there on the rock. 
Even if I beat these others, I'll still have to fight the leader. Hmm. I've got an idea. I'll attack the leader first before I'm all worn out. Look out! One against one, that's more like it. and Kimber should be back by now unless something happened to him. Oh, if I only had the strength, I would never have let him go. Here you are, Pop Wooly. Open your mouth now and take a big bite of medicine and chew it up carefully. By the time the sun comes up, you'll be good as new again and ready to kick up your heels. Kimba! Huh? Kimba! Good news. Let's celebrate. Let's have a party. Pop Wooly's all well again. Pop Wooly? We're going to give a party in your honor. Oh, no. You're the one who deserves the party, Kimba. I don't agree, but I hope that you'll come. I wouldn't think of missing it. <laughs> Good. Come to the clearing at sunset. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Just won't turn and run. 